So just describe some of the issues that you were dealing with before you came to the breathing center. I would had problems with breathing my whole life. I never knew exactly what all was wrong. And I, I had this pattern of developing colds. And then at the tail end of almost every cold, I would get this <clears throat> uncontrollable coughing. And finally, about 30 years ago, a physician said, you have asthma. And with that, I began being treated as an asthmatic. And from that day until just a few weeks ago, I was taking bronchial dilators routinely every day. And um, I also, over the course of time, was then put on a maintenance uh, routine of inhaled steroids. And although that kind of did seem to help, then when I'd get a cold and the cold would go into the inevitable bronchospasms at the end, then I would get prednisone. And I would get prednisone of increasing amounts. I would get shots. I would get <clears throat> uh, prednisone by tablet. And it would the normal routine, as you probably know, is, is that it's supposed to taper off. And I'd get down to the tail end of the taper, and I couldn't taper off. I would not be able to get off the stuff like I was supposed to be able to. And my doctor said, gee, you know, you, you just, this is unusual. So I'd get down to the 10 milligram taper. I'd try to get off, and it's supposed to be three days. It would usually be a week, maybe two weeks, before I could totally get off. Um, and now as I think about it, in hindsight, I think most of my health um, up until coming in contact with the breathing center, I would characterize as kind of like whistling past the graveyard. I'd get up in the morning and say, well, feel okay today, I hope this lasts. Not sure, exactly sure why it, I, I'm, I, why I'm okay or what it is that's gonna get me in trouble, but hope it lasts. And if things start to go to heck, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. I'll have to, have to take more steroids and I know that's a downward spiral. So I, I guess I just kind of, continue to bumble and stumble along over the past 30 years with these problems. And I don't, did not realize until having the experience recently with the breathing center, just how profoundly this had limited me and affected my health. And it finally came to pass that in <clears throat> this past November, I got a cold went into the asthma, and I was in about as bad a shape. I was in terrible shape. And uh, I was sleeping on our couch downstairs. I couldn't breathe. I had, at that point, I was taking theophylline. I was taking um, <clears throat> bronchial dilator um, um I was taking inhaled steroids uh, with Simbacort. I had, I was using my rescue inhaler of albuterol. I had received a shot in the rear of Depomedrol, and I still couldn't get one to two hours sleep at night without just coughing my head off. So in desperation, and I was really having trouble almost wheezing, I looked up on the internet trying to see if there was anything else that had been discovered recently that I could explore. And I came across the article in the New York Times. And the science writer said, gee, I, I think more ought to be looked into this. On the basis of that, and since I had nothing better to do and it was just laying there coughing, I, 
I went to the website for the Breathing Center and I downloaded, I paid the $10 and downloaded the ebook without any further instruction. I read it twice that night and it made a lot of sense. Um, and the premise being that we were over breathing, something I had never considered. I started trying to infer what I should do and it helped. I was able to actually get several hours sleep in that night. So a few days later, when uh, Rob from the breathing center reached out and called me, and by that time I had already made some significant progress on my own. And to me, that gave me great confidence that A, it was a sound method, and but that B, I needed additional help. Uh, this was an area where I did need some coaching. So we went through the uh, analysis to determine if I would be a decent candidate for it, determined that I was, and having just completed recently the level one training, I now feel like I, I have the tools to be able, for, maybe for the first time in my life, to be able to seize control of my own health. And um, that, that's an enormous thing. And I owe that to the Breathing Center staff. I owe it to Rob. I owe it to Sasha. I owe it to Dr. Buteko. Um, I mean, this is a phenomenal gift. And, and so not only am I not having the asthma problems I was having before, but my concentration is better. My sense of peace is far better. My sleep is far better. I, I would thrash around in bed for years. Uh, my wife and I, we start out with a twin bed and in self-defense, we got a, a queen bed for her because she was getting beat up. And I was a cover puller and I was just thrashing around. And now I go to bed and I sleep. And when I get up, it looks like I just turned the covers back. When I got the uh, ebook, I was at the beginning stages or of tape. I was at the middle of tapering off. And <clears throat> for the first time ever, I was actually able to do a taper off as you're supposed to. When I got to the last three days of 10 milligram, I just stopped. And when that occurred, I also stopped using the Symbacort and I stopped using, I had stopped using the Nasacort um, actually at the, at the beginning of doing the, the um, training with Breathing Center. So within about 10 days, I had gone from all that stuff to only taking the um, Theophylline. And I stayed there for about the next three weeks. And that was going so well that I decided as an experiment, I would simply just not take the Theophylline for one more day and see what happened. If I had troubles, I'd go back on it. And I went off and um, I've been off of it ever since. So I went from taking all that medicine and now all that I take is one half of an Allegra pill in the morning. And I do take um, a, uh, uh, shoot, look that up. There's, there's one pill that I do take uh, of an evening. Um, 
but it, it, it's, I've gone from all that medicine now to a much smaller amount. If I do end up in a true asthma uh, attack in the future, I think I'll be able to deal with it much more differently than I have in the past. There are a variety of techniques that they will teach you, and each, each step of the way, I found an honest partner at the other end. So Rob was, was a super coach, and I found that um, his guidance was sound and Things moved in the direction in which he predicted based on me following his advice. Uh, I now have some tools that I didn't have before, and I'm very grateful for it. Um, it's, it's quite a discovery, and um, I'm, I would recommend it to, to those who have similar problems to investigate it. The ability to rest, the ability to be active when you're up, to be focused, to be healthy, that's, uh, that's, a, real, that's a real game changer. And, um, I am, and I am now, and I think we'll always be in debt to the folks at the Breathing Center for helping me get a better handle on how to breathe.